Du, 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 du. Hi, for Francisco. Hey, Erica. Hi, Herman. Hi, Wilfredo. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? Yeah. Oh my God, you have problems with the connection. Don't worry. All right, good. Okay, Georgie. All righty. We do have Patty. We have Marlene today. We have Mr. Ed Nelson. All righty. Very good. Hey. Hey, Georgie's girl. <laughs> hey, she looks exactly like you, Georgie. Hey, how are you? Oh, oh my God. We have a new student, by the way. <laughs> Very good. Hi, beautiful girl. Oh, she looks like you. <laughs> she can be in here. No problem for me. Yeah. Yeah, I think she looks like Georgie, right, guys? Or she looks like uh, Carlitos. I think both. I don't know. But but uh, it's Georgie's face. Hermes, you're in a different room today. Hey, that is your, hey, you know what? I don't know, but uh, I think the, the children, they want to join today's class, which is amazing. I like it. Oh, my God. It's, it's exactly like you. It's it's mini me. Yes, it's your mini me. Definitely, it is. Oh my God! It doesn't have your white thing there. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Is this your baby boy? Yes, it's my oh. little. My how little how son. old is him? Yeah, um, nine nine years old. Nine years old. Oh my God! Such a beautiful baby. Oh, I remember when I was you nine years old. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was long time ago. Leave it like that with Wilfredo. <laughs> because you're a little bit older than me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shame on you. No, no, just kidding. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh, no. Teacher, what happened to you? I think there was too much coffee, you know, because I, I feel really hyper today. You cannot imagine. <laughs> no, the teacher is crazy. Yes. yes. All righty. So who else is here? Juliana, Patty, Erica. Very good. Excellent. Mr. Marlon. All right, guys. Tell me, how was your weekend? Can somebody share the weekend? Something special? I don't know. No? Come on. Now you don't want to speak, right? <laughs> no way. Okay, Mr. Marlon, tell us, how was your weekend? It was a very uh, relaxed weekend. Relaxed so, weekend, okay, why? Yeah. Tell us I, why. I was, um, mm -mm. <laughs> I was in my home the whole weekend. You stay home, oh, that's great. Yeah, so I I rest a lot, um, and the teacher, the people in the world don't show any trouble during the weekend, so that's fine. The people in the world, the things yeah. that are there. <laughs> that's enough for me. <laughs> yeah, yes, because of your type of job, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, it was very good. All right, guys, tell me, are you uh, planning something special for today night? I don't know. Anything really? special? No? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. If it's too private, don't tell it. Okay, that's okay. Okay, any special any, any special plans? I don't know. No. No? <laughs> hey, Marlon, so you don't have a special plans. You would, would you like to go uh, out with me uh, to see a, a movie? When? Today? <laughs> yeah, why not? Today. Yes. No, it's very late. <laughs> and the movie theaters are closed at this time now. I don't know. Mine. Well, mine, I'm, I, don't. I, I have not let you know that we're going to go to Cinemark. I'm just asking if you would like to watch a movie with me. Mm. Ah, you see? Okay. Hey, what about um, if we can go on Saturday, Georgie, uh, to the park? Would you like to go to the 
park with me on Saturday? On Saturday afternoon, maybe? You have any plans for this coming Saturday? Probably. It's interesting. <laughs> ah, okay. What about if somebody wants to, uh, uh, who loves sushi? Wilfredo, 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 do you have any plans for it? Um, Friday at, uh, at night? Do you, would you like to come and have a sushi with me? Yeah, of course. Okay, Eric, any plans, guys? Any plans, any plans that you have for this week of this weekend? Anything? No, no plans. Francisco, Hermes, Noah, no plans. Oh, come on. Working and more working. Working and more working. Okay, what about you, Francisco? I visit my grandfather. Okay, you probably, uh, you're going to visit your grandfather. Okay, very good. Uh, Patty, what about you, Patty? Any plans for this coming weekend? Yes, mm -hmm. I go to. You're going um, to? You must probably going uh, to visit my son. To visit your son, really? And where he lives? No, I I going to beach my son. You're going to the beach with your son. Yes. Oh my yes. God! With hey, my guys. son. Hey, why don't we go with Patty as well? We can everybody go to the beach with her, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, but he said yes. <laughs> and Marlon's like, teacher, why you are making these plans? Mm -hmm. It will be dangerous, teacher. I'm not. We are inventing. We're not good. Well, I so have a you... I have a micro boss. If you want, we can I can pick up oh, some of you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Patty. So she's going to the beach with her son. Mm, yes. What about you, uh, Hermes? What are your plans for this weekend? Uh, I want to I wanna fix some things in my house because I have, there are many, many repairs. Uh, my wife, what my wife uh, tell me that <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what my if my husband will be here he said hmm, that song is really uh, similar yes because my wife is asking me when you're going to repair the things at home right okay so yeah. your plan is staying home you're going to stay home okay you're going to stay home very good georgie what about you any plans for this coming weekend with your girl, with your mom, or with your husband? I'm going to work this uh, next weekend. When you're going to work, I'm sorry for that. So you're you're going to work. Oh my god, oh my, sorry for you. <laughs> okay, but sometimes we have to, we have to work on weekends, right? Yeah, it depends on the kind of job that we do have. What about you, Noah? What are your plans for this weekend? I have to work on Saturday. Oh, so you're um, going to work. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, also, uh, Noah is going to work. What about you, Maria Luisa? What are your plans for this weekend? Maria Luisa? Hey, hi. 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 <laughs> hi. How are you? Very um, good. Thank you. My my plans um, for the weekend mm -hmm. is um, going to class class the um, conta gubernam contabilidad account okay. contabilidad gubernamental un okay. seminario. Uh, to a seminary, a gubernamental accountant. accountant. Uh -huh. Oh, that's really good. Excellent. Yes. It, it will be Saturday and Sunday or only one of each days? Uh, all, all Saturday. All Saturday. So, oh. uh -huh. For three, three. Ma for three hours or for three consecutive <laughs> days? So three consecutive Saturdays. No. Mm -hmm. three for um I'll, um you can do it <laughs> um 
all Saturday during mm -hmm. four months. Really? Okay, yes. so during four months? Four each, months. Oh my goodness, yes. so that's a long, that's long. Yes, my, I, I, am, I am accounting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And um, the, the my my profession exi exi yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, yes. education continuing continuous oh. education. Oh, so, so you need to like be in training continuous. Yes. Okay, okay, uh -huh. yes, because you need to be updated, right? And with updated uh -huh. information, updated procedure, updated knowledge. Okay, wow, yes. really good. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. And you say Saturday, from what time until what time? Or what time in the morning you're going to start? The 7, 7, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, until? 11, at 2, mm -hmm. 11 p.m. What? Really? From yeah. 7 a.m. until 11 p.m.? Yeah. No. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, poof. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. It's going yeah. to be tough, but I think yeah. you will learn a lot. Yay, uh -huh. congratulations. Oh. Maybe you can tell us, uh, well, you can share information with us, right? We need to, we, we can learn something. That's good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Mm, who else? Hey, Grecia, what about you, Grecia? Or Carmen Irene, I don't know who likes to participate. Grecia, Carmen Irene, we have Erika. Uh -huh. We have Cecilia. Repeat the question, please. Hey, what about you? What are your plans for this coming weekend? This weekend? Mm -hmm. uh, if this you have weekend, any plans, of course. I go to the... Your go? Uh huh. Future. If you're talking about future, I. Uh huh. Do your best. I go. I don't know. Hey guys, if she's talking about the future, what is exactly the phrase that she needs to use? I'm going Andres. to. Very good. So, Gracia, go ahead. I go into the. Mm -hmm. To the wedding, my little brother. So your little brother wedding? Yay! That's amazing! Yay. Yay! Congratulations! Are you planning something special to wear? Oh gosh, shopping! I don't know. Oh, you have to go shopping, right? Of no. course. No. I go into the the lunch. Only lunch because it's the I don't know say is Boa Civil. Civil wedding? Civil wedding oh, and okay. December is the the, the, the the religious ceremony. Yes, the ceremony. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Guys, did you notice that we were talking about things in the future? Right? Sometimes we know what we're going to do, right? For example, Hermes, he knows that he's going to stay at home. All right? Jordi and Noah, she knows that they're going to work, right? Ugh, of course. But sometimes we don't know or we're not quite sure. Okay, so guys, today we're going to learn two things or two verb tenses that we can use when we're uh, making plans, when we're making plans for the future, okay? It could be like near future, like for example, the, exam the, um, the first conversation that I was having with Marlon at the beginning, I asked him, hey, what, what, which are your plans for today night? And he said, nothing. Hey, would you like to go out with me? Okay, yeah, and also guys for long feature like um like weekends, you have used something you have used be going to, which is really good. That is one way. But do you remember that there is another way to talk about it for future references? Do you remember? Any idea, guys? No. Any idea? Mm, yes, uh, but we're not going to use will. But will, yes. Will, guys, is when you are not sure about your plans, okay? But in this case, you are sure. So you're going to use be going to, but also, yeah, guys, you can use present can t. 
genius. Okay? You can use both. You can use be going to and present continuous when you're talking about making plans, making plans for the future. All righty, that's good. And, and congratulations, guys. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you that you use correctly, be going to. Yay, I'm so happy. Great job, guys. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. All of you use be going to. And let me ask a special girl, Erika, what are you going to do this coming um, Saturday? If you have any plans, I don't know. Do you have any uh, plans, Erika? I'm going to be maybe for my, with my co-workers. Okay. Uh, and uh, Perkin. Perkin, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Ooh, oh my God, are you going to break? That's great. That's great. Really, really good. Okay. Uh, are you going to stay there? No, it's uh, the day. Oh, okay. Uh, only for the day. See, only oh, for the day. Only for the day. Oh, okay. I thought you will be. You will stay there um, at night. I don't know. What about on Sunday? What about on Sunday? Which? What are your plans for Sunday? Um, the Sunday, no, stay my home. You will stay day. home. Okay, you're going uh -huh. to stay home. Okay, that's great. Guys, what I want you to do right now is basically we're going to listen a conversation about uh, two guys. Basically, they are co workers. They are co workers and they are making plans for this coming um, night and also other days of the. Um, of the week so i just want you guys to pay attention to their conversation and i want you to let me know when and where they are going to go what are the plans okay that's what i want you to let me know okay just let me know if you're able to listen bear with me because i'm going to share right now on my screen with you but i'm going to share only guys the sound <laughs> Can you listen? Making. Yes? Or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, I do really appreciate it. Thank you, Marlon. Yes, teacher. Okay, so listen carefully their conversation and let me know what are their plans for tonight and also at what time and when and where they're going to do, okay? Where they're going to go, at what time they're going to meet and when, okay? Just pay attention to those answers for me. Plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, guys. So tell me something. What they are talking about? What are their plans? Uh huh. What are they plans? She say. Uh huh. Yes, Fatih. Bowling. Bowling. Okay. Yeah. First, she was inviting right the guy. His name is Jose to go bowling but what happened miguel. The, yeah, oh, oh, miguel. miguel jose miguel. jose no. or miguel say miguel 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 oh yes miguel. Yes, miguel okay yeah i was asking you i don't know okay and tell me guys <laughs> okay she said what are you doing tonight right you want to go bowling okay but what happened uh, miguel could go with her or no no. no, no, no. Why? Why no? What was her, his plan? He no can't. He couldn't. Oh, he can. Why not? Where is he going to? He couldn't. What is he going to? Where is he going to die? Where is Miguel he, going? He has a soccer match. A soccer match. Okay. Uh, with, with who? Brother. With her. With his brother. With his brother. All righty. With his brother. So tell me, a, uh, but so they are not going to go out together, or what happened? They're going to uh -huh. tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, where? 
The bowling. After work. To, uh, tomorrow after work. At what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Why at 6 p.m.? Because some... Um, she finished the work. She, uh -huh. she worked at, at 5. Exactly. So she, she finished her work at 5, right? Until 5. All righty. And are they going just to... Uh, watch the soccer match, or they're planning to do something else. Uh, they have dinner after. Uh -huh. It's a possibility they're going to have dinner. All right, very good. Yeah. So you see, guys, their conversation was everything related to future plans, right? To future events. In this case, we're not like Sandra, right? We're like tomorrow. Well, they have started tonight, later, right? But. She could, he couldn't. So they're making plans for tomorrow. Okay, what do you think, guys? Uh, um, are these uh, couple are classmates, roommates, friends, co-workers? What do you think? Co-worker. Co-workers. And what do you think, uh, where they work for or where they work? In a restaurant? It could be in a restaurant. Yeah, it could be in a cafeteria. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, guys. And guys, this is really important that you learned how to make plans um, for future using present continuous and be going to, not only for your personal life, like the thing that I have asked you today, but also in your job. And your job is really important. For example, when you're planning a, like, like Maria Luisa was explaining to us, something relating to your job, like a meetings, like meetings, for example, right? Or like trainings, in this case with Georgie, that you have a physical training or physical conversation. Or for example, Marlon, if you're going to help somebody with the user or something related to the account, for example, you need to make like arrangements, right? Arrangement to a schedule, uh, that person in a specific time and a specific day, all right? So also, guys, for making plans, you, you will need to use present continuous and be going to, but not only for your personal lives, but also related to your jobs, all right? For example, accounting, yes? Accounting or uh, teaching, I don't know. Yeah, or for example, party, party that you're going out, right? You work with Anda. Uh, you need to make appointments, for example, when you're going to uh, to arrive at a specific place to fix something, right? So it's really important also that you learn how to use it and when to use it. And that you have more than one way to express future things, okay? Future arrangements. Guys, I want you right now to practice a conversation, the same conversation that we have listened now I want to show you the, the image, the dialogue, because it's really important not only to um, pronounce correctly the, the questions, but at the same time that you have like a fluently speaking. That's what I like, and that's what I need. So uh, first big team, sorry, first volunteers. Um, okay, I'm thinking a number between one and 18. Who can give me one number? From 1 to 18. Thank you, Erika. Go ahead. Nine. <laughs> yes, Patty. Very good. That's the first one. I am mad. You lucky, you girl. Yeah. No. no well, no, you no, say it. No. You say it, Patty. No. I apologize. But you're going to be the first participant. Okay, but don't worry. Everything's going to be right. Don't worry. Relax, okay? <laughs> Very good. And the next participant, okay. Mm, Francisco? Hi. Hi. A number between one and eighteen, please. It, but don't mention nine because Patty's already already has a her part on the dialogue. <laughs> okay. Any other number from one to from one to eleven? Okay. Francisco, from one to eleven, what number? Um, number. Uh huh. Five? You said five. No. No. Uh, no. No, no. Wilfredo, another number? Uh, seven? Yes. <laughs> oh, my. Thanks. 
<laughs> that was amazing. I'm so happy. Okay, guys, so let me share right now my screen. And um, we're going to practice, okay? Don't worry, okay, Patty? Relax. Everything is going to be all right. But guys, even though your classmates were going to participate and practice the dialogue, please, guys, take a look at the questions, at the questions that they made, okay? Because this is really important that you take a look at the questions. Okay, so um, let me share right now on my screen. There you go. Hey, can you see it, guys? Is yes. it clear? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, yes Patty? Yes. yes, Wilfredo? Yes. Finally, yeah. very good. Okay, so making plans uh, is scenario number one. Action. You start, Patty. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Wilfredo? I'd love to, but I can't. I go into a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Uh huh. We, we could end then. Tomorrow, so fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after what, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, very good. But you're going to repeat it. Okay. It's good, guys. Very good. But I want you guys to be more fluently, okay? Relax. Relax. <laughs> Pretend, Patty, that you're working with Wilfredo. That is your partner, right? That is your work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is co-worker. And also Wilfredo, okay? Patty is your, is your BFF, okay? Relax, okay? So, okay, uh, making plans as scenario number two. Action, start, Patty, please. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I have a lot to, but I can't. I go into a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? A week I'll go then? Tomorrow? So fine. I go to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Yes, now it's much better, guys, because I feel it. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. You convince me that you want to go out, <laughs> right? Because I, eh, sounds great. And I was like, mm, no. Okay, very good. Excellent, guys. Congratulations, Patty. Congratulations, Wilfredo. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, great job. Okay, guys, so let's let's practice just the, the pronunciation, okay? Repeat after me. What are you doing tonight? What, what are you doing, doing tonight? Do tonight? you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? Want to go bowling? 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 Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are, Are you, you doing, doing anything, anything tomorrow? tomorrow? Very good. Okay, guys, this first question, what are you doing tonight? What type of question it is? Do you remember? WH question. W question. Exactly. And then intonation goes up or goes down? No clear. Intonation must, goes up or goes down? No clear. It goes up. Goes down. Okay, yes, I, I will explain it in a what moment. Don't worry. What about do you want to go bowling? Is a just, to... Yeah, that is a just no question. Mm -hmm. And goes up. Hey, what about this one, guys? Are you doing anything tomorrow? What type of question is this? Uh huh. What type of question? That is a just no question, guys. And the intonation goes. Go down. Up. Up. W is question, intonation goes down. Just no question, intonation okay. goes up. But guys, did you see? Be going to is here, right? Be going to, the first one. But this one, guys, what, this is be going to or this is 
uh, present continuous. What do you think? Present continuous. Present, present continuous. continuous. Why is present continuous, guys? Doing anything tomorrow. Aha, uh -huh. but why is present continuous? Do you remember how to form present continuous? No? For the very ing. Aha, uh -huh. yes, ing. But what else? And the. Uh... Aha, uh -huh. very good. Uh, don't worry, we're going to learn that. Okay, we're going to learn that. You see the answer just says, I'm going to. You're using going to, okay? I'm going to. But here, the question, are you doing anything tomorrow? That is present continuous. So guys, in here, in this dialogue, we are using both. We're using present continuous and be going to. Okay, that's what we're going to use right now. All right. To talk about what, guys? To talk about present, past, or future? Future. Future, exactly. Okay, let me show you something right now for me, move on. Don't worry. This is something that you already know because you use it. But it's really important that you just make a little bit refresh about that. Okay. Any other big thing? No, sorry, any other participant? Okay, very good. Let me double check. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, 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 uh. Noah. Okay, you're going to be lean. Thank you, Noah. And who else? Herman or Hermes. No, Hermes. Hermes. Yes, Hermes. You're going to be Miguel. All righty. Just one more couple, if you don't mind. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, that's <laughs> the spirit that I want to hear. Go on. Say, Michael, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you do anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow some fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after war, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. I can hear you. We can teacher. hear you, teacher. Now yet, we can hear you. We lost her. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, but your computer is damaged. <laughs> Uh -uh. Nothing, teacher. No. No. <laughs> Let me check. We can hear you. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. What about now? Yeah. Yes. yes. Can hear you. So oh, you good. you didn't lose me, okay? <laughs> uh huh. Mm, guys, yes, Wilfredo. I don't know, but Wilfredo does something. Every time that he joins the class, something happens. I don't know. Have you noticed that, guys? <laughs> okay, guys. So, I, I love it, Noah. Very good, Hermes, because you get into the character, okay? Yeah, I, I love your pronunciation. You said, hey, uh, you want, what are you doing today? Oh, you Noah know, said, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good. Very good. Excellent. I like it. Excellent job. Now, guys, let's make some refresh about um, the difference. The difference between past and continuous and the difference of be going to. It's really easy. It's really simple. But it's really important that you remember the difference because in that way, you will be able to use it. And you can see, guys, that in the conversation, you use it both. You use it both at the same time to so talking about making plans for future. So you can do it, but you need to know how to do it. And you, you need to have here the structure of each of them in order to use it well. Okay. 
So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. I promise you're not going to lose me. Okay. Okay, much better, guys. Yeah. Hopefully, Mr. Yeah. Wilfredo is not going to do anything. Okay. So you see, present continue, guys, and be going to, to, to talk about what, guys? To talk about what? Future plans. Future, Future plans. plans. Very good. Excellent. Okay, we're going to have the use. Uh, let me click on the first one. The first use for uh, present continuous is when you're talking about actions in the future. future. Exactly. And we have another one. When you are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Okay, guys. Uh, when you are 100% sure like you, that you're going to do that activity, you're going to use present continuous and also be going to. Okay? You, when you are 100% sure. Like, for example, Hermes. Hermes said that he's going to stay home because his wife asked him to. But uh, I remember that Marlon said that you can also use will. Yes, you can also use will, Marlon, when you're talking about future. But you use will when you are not sure. Okay. When you are not sure that that activity is going to happen. It's a possibility. It's like a 75%. That, that happens, but it might not. But if you are 100% sure about that activity That's that you're going to realize it, you need to use be going to, okay? All right. Guys, this is really important as well. Uh, for example, if you would like to predict something in the future, you don't use present continuous, okay? You need to use be going to or will. For example, um, for example, guys, if you see that it's cloudy, si ven que hay muchas nubes, what is possible that happens? ¿Qué podría pasar? It will rain. It will rain. Or it's going to rain. Okay? So when you're talking, guys, about predictions, you see, do not use present continuous. You can use be going to or will. Okay? to make predictions. For example, you can say, watch out, you're going to break that glass. Or it's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Is it clear, guys? Yes, right? Yes or no? Hello, Houston, we don't have a problem here. The present con teacher. Yes, uh, go ahead. The present continues is when I, I'm 100% sure that it will happen. No, no. the be going to. The be going to. The be yeah. going to or will is when you're a hundred percent that something's going to happen. Will is when you are not sure, totally sure, like a 75%. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to talk about predictions, for example, um, you will need to use or be going to or will, but never present continuous, okay? Never. When you're talking about okay. predictions, Okay, if you're talking about something else in the future, of course you can use present continuous, but not when predictions, okay? When making okay. predictions, no way. Okay, let's continue right now. Let me give you right now the formula, guys. This is really be easy, peasy, crazy. Let me give you right now the formula. For present continuous, guys, let me move this one because it's not very good. Okay, when you see present continuous, we have the formula here. And uh, who can help me read it? Um, Erika. Thank you, Erika. You're so nice. Okay. What is the formula so, for present continuous? The subject plus verb to be. Mm -hmm. um, are, is mm -hmm. plus verb plus ing. 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 Like, como que alguien te hace, te golpea y tú, ay. Okay, ing. All right, very good. ING. Can you please uh, read for me the example number one? Example, she is watching a movie. Okay. G guys, remember, present continuous and when you're talking about something that you're doing in the present, right? You see, we have subject. Yes. What is the subject here? She. Okay. She. What is the verb to be? Is. is. All right. What is the verb in ING form? Watching. Watching. Very good. Watching. Very good. Excellent. All right. What about sentence number two, Erica? Continue, please. They are going to the concert. Okay. What is the subject there? The subject is the day. Uh -huh. What about uh, verb to be? 
is uh, going to? No, verb to be. What is the verb to be there? R. R. Very R. good. And then? And then is the verb is going to. Very good. And we do have the complement. Excellent. Very good. What about, guys, be going to? What is the formula here? Okay, let's continue. Very good. Be going to. Okay, what is the difference? Who can help me read it? Wilfredo, go ahead, please. Uh, subject plus verb to be. Mm -hmm. And R is plus going to plus infinity verb. All righty. Can I please be so kind to read for me the example? Okay. I am going to play humble. Mm -hmm. He's away. going to cook. Okay, guys, do you see, guys, that even though we're uh, talking about future, but the formula for each of them is different? You see, it's different. It's not the same. Both of them have subject. Very good. Both of them, we use the verb to be. But here, guys, here is a difference. With present continuous, we use the verb into an ing form. But when we go into... We use be going to, and after be going to, the infinitive. Take a look. Going to, what is the infinitive here in the first sentence, guys? Play. Play, no, to play. To play. Okay, yes, exactly. Or cook, you see? To cook. All right, so that is the difference, guys. That the present continues, the verb, you put the ing form. But in going to, no. You use going to. And if you use going to automatically, you are saying that you are talking about the future. So you will need to use a second verb, but in the infinity way. That means in the present tense, okay? That is the main difference. Um, is it clear, guys? Or would you like me to give you another example? Hello, hello. Other example. Another example, okay. Yeah. Who said that, Patty? Uh, Erica. Who, Evelyn, Erica. you said? Ah, Erica. Okay, guys, okay, Erica. The difference, Erica, take a look and examine the, the examples. Here, for example, in present continuous, you use the verb in the ing form, okay? And also the verb to be. This is, this is easy. Did you understand this one? Yes. This one is good? Okay. Now, be going to. The part is here. The, you see, be going to, if you use be going to, automatically you are saying something about the future, okay? You're making plans. But after be going to, you cannot say, for example, I'm going to humble. ¿Verdad que no tiene sentido? I'm going to humble. ¿Verdad que no? No. You need, Erika, to add another verb. verb, exactly, in order to make sense. Oh. So in this case, the, okay. the verb that you're going to add is not going to be in ing form. Why not? Because you're already using the going to. So you don't need to put the second verb into ing form. You need to put it in an infinity way. That means in present. So you can say, I'm going to play, I'm going to work, I'm going to watch, see, etc. right? Okay. And then the complement. Is it clear now? Yeah, it's oh. so clear. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, so let's practice. Let's continue practicing. All right. Any other uh, question, guys? No? Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, Georgie. Go ahead, Georgie. I, I, have, I have clear the structure, but mm -hmm. I, I, I not have clear when you use... Present continuous is when you use the being, el going to in the future. Yes. It, it, well, Georgie, Georgie, you can use both. You can use both when you're talking about future. You can use both. The difference may, will be, Georgie, the structure of the sentence. Okay? If you're using present continuous, you need to use a subject plus verb to be plus ing form of the verb. And if you're using be going to, um, you need to use uh, like example that I have here. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Sí, sí. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm coming back to you because you can see my face. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there you go. So, Georgie, your question is when you're going to use it or how you can go, you can use it? How, when, when I have used the present continuous. When you were, I, when you, I, mm -hmm. I think only the present, but I, I, now I understand I can use in the future. Yes, exactly. Remember guys that when we saw present continuous, I told you that one of the, the way that you can do is talking about something in the present. But present continuous, you can not only use for present. Now you have seen that you can also use it for future things. That is another use of present continuous. Okay. Yeah, is it clear? Okay, my pleasure. Okay, let's practice. Let's continue. This is having so much fun. All oh, right, teacher. Okay, guys, but let me ask you something. Okay, now we have seen a sentences, right? A sentences in positive way. But what happened if I want to say a sentence in negative way? And I'm talking about future. How can I say it? How can I say it? Doesn't matter with present continuous, it doesn't matter if we're going to. Can I talk about negative future? Yes, you can. Let me go back. Let me go back and share my screen with you because you can also do that. There you go, okay. <laughs> okay, let me share right now my screen. Can you see it, guys? Uh, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So imagine that you would like to put that in negative. You can perfectly do it. But where you can put it, you need to put the particularly not. Remember that? Not. Rem not. And then you're doing... Um, you are doing it in a negative way. Okay, let me do something better because this one you cannot see it, okay? So I'm going to put it a little bit of reference. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, not. See, you can use not with negative, but you need to take a look, guys, where you put this one, okay? Where you put it. Not will be between the verb to be, guys, and the ing verb, okay? She is not watching a movie, okay? What about here? I'm going to play humble. Can I make this sentence negative? Valentina, Valentina. Yes, yes you can. Okay. You can also put note, but where I'm going to put that note when I'm making a negative statement? Where do you think, guys? Uh -huh. Where? I am not. Exactly. Between the bird to be and the going to. So you said she is not watching the movie, present continuous, and with be going to, I'm not going to play. You see? If you would like to convert that same sentence into negative when you're talking about future. But guys, what about if you would like to ask something? How am I going to ask for future? Any idea? Let me show it to you. Okay, guys, when making questions, when you would like to make questions in future, do you remember, guys, that question that we highlight in the dialogue? Do you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan de las questions que vimos en el dialogue? Yes? Or no? Hello? Yes? Okay. Exactly. Guys, here we have the WH question. This is the formula. We had the WH question that could be what, where, ¿qué otro más hay? When. When, what else? Who. Who, what else? Who. Mm -hmm. oh. Which. How, which. which, exactly, why, etc. Depends on what you would like to know, right? Depende de lo que quieran saber. After that, you have the verb to be. Then we have the subject, we have the verb, 
the ing and the complement. This is guys with present continuous, okay? Who can help me reading? Marlon, go ahead with the first question, please. Can you help me reading that? Where are you celebrating your relation? Very good. Where are you celebrating your graduation? You see, you're using present continuous to talking about future. Okay, next question, please. What is he doing tonight? What is he doing tonight? Very good. Okay, guys. Now, let's make questions talking about future, but we're going to. Who can help me read it? Georgie, could you please be so kind to read for me the second part? The, the structure or, or the... First of all, the structure. First, the structure, yes. Go ahead. E for plus, plus B, no subject, plus going to, plus infinitive verb, plus complement. Very good. Can you please help me reading the question? Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? Very good. The second one, please. What is he going to do? Tonight. Very good. Hey, Georgie, congratulations on your pronunciation. Very good, very good intonation of the questions. Okay, guys, so basically this is really easy peasy queasy, right? So you always can also make a questions when you would like to know something about a future event. Okay, for example, uh, uh, Marlon, if I want to know, uh, Maria Luisa said, that on Saturday, she will have a, a, a training. Is that right? A training. A training, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh -huh. it's a content. It's an accountant, exactly. Yep. So if I want to use, a, for example, let me check. Mm, be going to, and I want to know when she will have the training, how can I ask that question using be going to in the future? How can I say that? When, when she's going to the seminary? When she is going to or when is she? When she. When is she? When is she going to a seminary? Okay, very good. When is she going to have her seminary? Very good job. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What will be the answer? Um, Wilfredo. Mr. Wilfredo? Hi. Hi. Um, uh, Marlon said, when is she going to have her uh, seminary? What will be the answer for that question? Um, Lo ponche. The, 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 the seminary is... Uh, is uh -huh. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday, okay, uh, in exactly. The, in the morning. Aha, uh -huh. but I want you to use going to. So how are you going to answer? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. She have uh, your she seminary. Have? Or she's she, she, going she, to. She's going to uh -huh. a seminary on Saturday in the morning. On Saturday morning. Morning, okay. Okay, very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Lo pillé, ¿verdad? Ha! Ha! I'm just kidding. Uh, yes, I know that. Okay, guys. So do me a favor. Um, for tomorrow, because I know that we're already 10 or 1. Guys, that class passed really fast, right? Oh, my goodness. I couldn't imagine. Okay. Um, tomorrow, I want one sentence. No, two sentences. One using present continuous and one using be going to. And if you, if I want you guys to think about uh, something that you would like uh, your classmates to do, for example, or to answer. For example, guys, let me give you an example. Mm, no, I'm going to make the question, you know. I'm going to ask you the question and I want you to answer me. Hey, what are you going to do when the, when the model finish? What are you going to do when the model finish? ¿Qué van a hacer cuando se termine el módulo? What are you going to do when the model finish? That would be the question that I formulate to you. Yes? I want you to answer that question. What are you going to do? In my case, 
I'm going to continue working. Hmm? I'm going to work. Mm -hmm. I will be preparing or I'm going to prepare uh, uh, my classes for next model. I'm going to have vacations. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Okay, what about you guys? Okay, so think about it and I want your answer tomorrow. But before we go, any questions or any doubts that you might have for today's class? Eden Nielsen, Ceci, Grecia, Luis, Carmen Irene, Abel, I don't know, Hermes, Georgie, Francisco? Oh, yeah teacher thank you everything is clear like water or like horchata like <laughs> water are you sure yes. Yes. like a sure. purified water <laughs> uh -huh. purified hopefully water. you do hey guys i remember that i gave you a homework for a weekend right yeah uh-huh yes georgie that's the one exactly that one <laughs> Okay, so we're going to double check in tomorrow. Okay, hopefully you have done it. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I we promise that this Thursday we're going to have so much fun. But please, guys, hopefully you have study because this uh, this Thursday will be hard. Okay, we're going, guys, this Thursday to like recap everything. Okay everything that we have seen during the model so you don't know what am i going to ask but this saturday this thursday will be hard but if you study don't worry about it everything's going to be all right i'm going to be a nice teacher okay i'm going to be a nice teacher you see <laughs> making plans for future all righty okay i know that you would like to sleep that you would like to eat because you're hangry thank you wilfredo okay so hugs and kisses and see you tomorrow okay? for tomorrow teacher okay tomorrow. bye bye, bye. bye.